It's party day. We're going to get supply. Welcome to Lachlan's birthday vlog. His birthday isn't actually until next week, but we're going to my cousin's wedding next weekend. So we're doing his birthday party today. We've just like rented out the party room in his building or having a bunch of people over. But this is my haul of what I got to prep for Lachlan's birthday. He's like, I don't want any decorations or anything. I'm like, you're gonna have a bunch of people over into a party room that has nothing in it because it's meant to like have decorations for parties. Okay, I'm gonna get some decorations. Got balloons. I got happy birthday banner thingy. And then I'm making cupcakes, so I got cake mix. I went to Bulk Barn because, if you know me, I love decorating cupcakes, but I don't know if I have time to do like a full decorating cupcake situation. I got icing too, or stuff for icing. But I just went to Bulk Barn and got a bunch of like these candies he loves of little fruit. And I think I'm just gonna stick one of them into the top of each cupcake because it'll be quick, but it'll still look cute and summery. Then I also got these, which I don't know if they're gonna work out, but they're like little number balloons that go on top of a cake. They're kind of big, but I think like that they'd be cute and they just come with this little stand that you clip to the balloon and stick in the cupcake. I just wanted something that said 25. Then I just got some candles for the other cupcakes that don't have those in it because I don't want them to be able to blow out the candles. And then I also got these, which I just thought were fun and like he'll like them. They're just like these little chocolate like ball things. So. That's what I'm doing. I'm about to make cupcakes. And then I really want to swim in Lachlan's pool. Our still isn't open. And then it's party time. I actually definitely have like mild ADHD because I'm filling this cup with ice for a drink. Um, well, I'm supposed to be starting to make cupcakes, but then I'm filling the cup with ice for a drink. And then I'm looking at our counter. I'm like, oh my God, it's so messy. Vic's coming home today. I need to text Vic and make sure what time she's coming home so I can clean before them. I go get my phone. I text Vic. Then I'm looking at the living room like, oh God, it's so messy. So I go over, then I fold a blanket. Then I take my tote bag that's over there and I put it in my room. And then when I go back to the living room, I notice the carpet's dirty. So I go to get the vacuum out. And then I think about outside and how I wanted to vacuum outside. And then I think about how I want to water my plants that were on the balcony. So then I go to water my plants and then I go back to the sink and I see my cup of ice there that I started making my drink with. And I'm like, am I okay? Like, <laughs> My brain like does not work properly, I don't think. like. I actually cannot complete a task, but for real, I actually do need to water my plants. Now that they're doing so well, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. They're all, well, they're really dry right now, but they don't really get a lot of sun on our balcony. This one, I think, is doing better than the other one. I think I should take, um, oh, that one needs more water. I think I should take them over to Lachlan's balcony for a day to get sunlight. sit on one of these comfy couches. Oh my god, I'm pumped. cupcakes now. Lachlan and I went for a swim, which was so fun. Anyways, here are the cupcakes happening. 
Um, I wanted to give a little overview of what the heck is happening um, before it all starts. So it's also the Lumineers concert um, tonight at Budweiser Stadium. So a bunch of people are going to that. So like Vic and Adam are going to that and then they're going to come after. But Zoe and Maya are also in town because they're going to it and they're going to stay at my place. So they're going to be here any minute. And then the girls are, who are going to Laughlin's are also all coming over to pre a little here. I think around like 6, 6.30. And then we're going to be going to Laughlin's, Lumineer. People are going to Lumineer. So that kind of worked out well because then we can just like, I'll have one big pre together. And then I'll, we'll go over to Laughlin's and then all the people who are going to Lumineer's will come over after. That's the game plan. So here are the cupcakes and then I got to put all the gummies that I got like on top. Okay, I'm also ready. Are we showing you my new camera yet? Have I even been with you since you've seen it? We're giving Dunkin' Donuts right now. What? We're no. giving Dunkin' Donuts. Oh, yes. Look we cute. Have a theme. This is me and Vic's dinner. We tried these new, this new recipe that we kind of winged it though. We made salmon. What is this thing called? Like a salmon teriyaki salmon bowl? I yeah. don't know. Look cute though. Oh, let's like cut the lime and squeeze it over. Oh, we're going to yoga, sweat and tonic. It's Monday night. We just had a really good dinner. And that's that. We're going with um someone that Vic and Audrey know from Collingwood, just got a job there. And it's like nighttime candlelit Zen yoga. Okay, a moment for the sweatsuit. 
because it's finally all here and it's so cute. Okay, now I'm actually back and I'm ready. Um, tonight is so fun. Let me actually go this way. I want to show my outfit, which is why I came here. I'm wearing my new trousers, this little tank. I'm going to bring a sweater, I think. So I think it's going to get cold in there. But I haven't even told you guys what I'm doing. So for Christmas, Lachlan's parents gave us tickets to a play. And because of COVID, it unfortunately got canceled. But then they like got us new tickets anyway. So it's been a little while coming, but tonight we're going to a play and we're going to see Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. And you guys know Lachlan and I are obsessed with Harry Potter. And we're also going with his sister his sister and her boyfriend um, because they got that for Christmas too. So it'll be really fun. Um, and it starts in about an hour. So we need to go because it said like it starts really promptly. I did my hair in this little braid. It's kind of looking janked when it's here, but when it's at the back it looks nice. Okay, whatever, hopefully it looks fine. So I'm so excited. It's a three hour play, so it's really gonna be all night, but I'm so pumped. You didn't get a shot of the scene power. Too bad. So sad. When God dim levels. <laughs> I don't know what the story is really about either. Yeah, you didn't read the book, right? I did. I read the play. So, I kind of know. But it was a long time ago. I read it like years ago, so I'm so excited. The play was so awesome. It was the coolest set and like stage design I've ever seen. It was also the most elaborate set ever. Like there was literally so many moving parts. Every single scene had like basically a whole new set, like tons and tons of props. Like I can't even imagine. The backstage must be huge, don't you think? Yeah. I was thinking that there must be like the biggest backstage ever and there was like water that they were literally swimming in the middle of the stage like level with the stage there was like a pit of water there was like stuff that came up from the stage there was like trap doors there was like literal magic like they did so many magic tricks which was crazy there was fire oh the patronus was sick we didn't even talk about yeah, that yeah the patronus was really cool it was like a flame blue flaming thing oh my brain's really that coming out on all the spells too there's like fire coming out yeah, they would say Swicto Patronum and then green flames would shoot out, which is so cool. Mm -hmm. Say a small reveal. Oh. You're gonna just... Oh, sorry. I thought, <laughs> I thought I was gonna get a three, two, one. And look at the lens and here we go. And action. It was really good. Um, <laughs> I said to Al, probably one of the, the top plays I've seen. Uh, I also didn't read the play beforehand when it came out uh, so this was like my first experience which I think added a lot to it I didn't really know what was coming from a plot perspective and then as Ellie mentioned as well the production and theatrical parts took it to the next I level. can't even like explain like there was stuff flying up into the audience mm -hmm. there was like these huge reveals of like Lights where you wouldn't expect there to be lights there and stuff like I don't know. It was really Mom. did you think when they came out of the fireplace when they did the flu powder? That was actual that was fire. Cool. Was that not actual fire? Probably was. It looked like it real looked fire. Really real, yeah. and anyways, it was really great. Really so good. would recommend. Yeah. Have to thank your mom and dad for yeah, giving us tickets. Woo! And they gave us Lego Hermione's desk. So we're building that. And Lachlan got one and I got one and I'm gonna put mine right on my actual desk. Look how cute she is. Good morning and happy Tuesday. It is like 7 a.m. right now. And Vic actually just left because she's going to a workout class. I'm going to a workout class. Oh my god. Such a busy evening schedule this week, but I still wanted to go to a spin class. 
And then I saw this one that's at 7.30 and I'm like, oh, that's like kind of perfect because it's actually not even that early. It's Swedish House Mafia versus The Weeknd. So it's only going to be like their music, which will be really fun. Spinko is like so close to my house. So I literally got up at 7 and it's 7.08 right now. And I still have time. Like I'm fully ready to go, but I still have time. Actually, I need to eat something because I always feel sick if I work out without eating something. I don't really have any breakfast food I want to eat right now though. Okay, I'll figure that out. Okay, you guys, that ride was so freaking good. The music was literally fire. I asked the instructor if I could take a picture of um, the playlist at the end because it was so good. Like, it started with Blinding Lights, which is just like such a good song to start a spin class to. And then Swedish, Swedish House Mafia, why can't I say that? Is like the type of artist where I'm like, oh, I. I don't know, I probably know like one or two songs and then like every song came on I'm like, oh yeah, I know this song, like this song is awesome. I think I will be going back to that class, maybe not like every single week, but definitely if I have a busy week, like 7.30 was totally manageable to get to. Like I woke up before my alarm even and I was like, okay, cool. Spillage. On you? Yeah. Oh, because you're wearing all my clothes? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Woo! Woo we are so thrilled to have you all here as one of the first audiences in Canada to experience this brand new film before it's on Friday. <laughs> Endure the traffic. The line to get popcorn. The decision to get a small or large. Always get the large. And you finally made yeah. Those are gonna be good, boys. How does that happen? So, as. One hour! The last minute of Lachlan as a 24 year old. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, I'm in the elevator. It's Lachlan's B day. Me and Josh are going to pick up coffee and croissants. And then go over and look, I'm wearing my Spider-Man shirt because I'm going full Avengers theme. We got coffee. And presents. You have to open your presents. Yeah, at least one of them or something. I like the theme. Thanks. Did you notice I dressed to the theme? I know. <laughs> You're a marvelous boyfriend. Hey vlog, past LA here because this is going to go into Lachlan's birthday vlog week whatever that video is gonna be but I just got the last piece of Lachlan's present so I want to show you where I got him and then also I just went to Dollarama to get wrapping paper and look it's Avengers wrapping paper but let me show you what I got him so first thing I got him I'm not gonna take out but it's all in Vic's room because I've been hiding it from him it's a spike ball set um, which if you don't know what spike ball is, it's like the best summer game ever. And his friends already have one and like they love spike ball, but he just likes being like the guy with the games. And I figured then we can like use it even if he's not with, around his friends or whatever. So I got him that and I'm really excited, but it's kind of big, so I'm not going to take it out. And then I got him a shirt, which I'll show you in a second. And then I also got this little photo album, obviously like gonna put photos in it they've all been selected cropped and ordered i just have to get them okay the shirt i actually can show you because he's gonna kill me but i ordered myself the same one and it is a boy's shirt but i saw our friends wearing it and it's so cute it's literally just a plain white shirt with a pocket but it's made of like terry cloth material so i thought it was so fun for summer and this one's mine <laughs> I obviously got him like a big one. Our friends, it looked so good on them and I'm like, I want Lachlan to have that shirt. So I got him one too and it's just so cute. So I'm gonna wrap that and then this is Wednesday. His birthday's in like one week, June 16th. Okay, I just hopped out of the shower, but my 
photos finally came for Lachlan's little book that I showed before. And let me tell you, this thing is heavy. I got 128 photos printed. I think the book takes 120. Um, but I wanted to have a couple extras. And then there also needs to be one um, as like the cover. Ones. It took me so long to even pare down to that many. Which I thought would be like easy but that because that's a lot of pictures but it actually was hard okay well, look at this oh my god there's so many what the heck oh my god there's so many okay i also got one black and white one to put in the front so let me find that and put that in and then i'll report back I think that this looks really cute. I wanted to do black and white on the cover. And this was like the only picture. I didn't, most of the pictures are, horizontal, are vertical, so I'm gonna do it this way. Um, but this was one of the horizontal ones, so I just put it in black and white. And it actually was a film photo from Vic or Audrey's Disposable, I think. So yeah, I think that looks really cute. And I just wrote on the back a little note saying happy birthday and stuff. And I'm gonna write on the backs of some of these like little memories, like this was for my birthday, my first quarantine birthday, St. Patrick's Day, you know, dinner with the Leishmans. That was when we had a lobster dinner on the dock. Like I'm just gonna write like some cute stuff like that on these for memories and load this book up. And I'm actually really excited to do it. Like before we were dating, like no. Ah. No, that's a test and Audrey's point. Here. I don't know. Just my bet. Sure. Here, I got you a large. I didn't know if you would want a medium or a large. And I'm not gonna lie, I ordered two because I got one for myself. I think it's so cool. I took a picture of them wearing, one of them had like the sleeves rolled up. It's like, whoa! Woo! This is you telling me you wanna play more. Mm hmm <laughs> Cool. And I have your own. Yeah. I know your friends already have it, but no, I figured Nice to just have you but I like it. I like it Picasso. Yay! Success! Big success. Hello. Um, it is after work on Thursday. Lachlan's B Day. We're going up for dinner with his parents um, to Bar Isabel, which is like a really fancy place. So, well, I think it's like the food's like really well renowned. Um, I don't actually know how fancy it is. I'm wearing this navy dress that I actually haven't worn yet. It's like a long dress, which isn't normally my vibe, but I do think it's cute. Um, hopefully it's appropriate. And then I just borrowed Vic's little corduroy jacket. Lachlan's on his way over soon, but it should be really good. There's like octopus on the menu, which I think would be fun. But this dress, here's the other thing about it, is a little too like boxy, I wanna say. I feel like it's a little boxy here, even still. Like a nice like slip dress would go like this, but it's long, so I don't really know. Like it just go, kind of goes like this all the way down. But I got this little like cinch in it, and it just looks like it's like gathered in the back, kind of like looks like there's a little pleat or something, and it pulls it in. So it actually was like even wider than this before, but this is like the full. Okay, so I just wearing my white sneakers, this like long dress. Again, I don't really know what the vibe is. So I think that's cute, but. I'm gonna FaceTime my mom, I think, and see what she thinks. <laughs> Birthday boy! Woo! Where are we going for dinner? Bar Isabel. What are you gonna order? I don't know. Some surf and turf. A lot of shareables. A lot of shareables. 
For sure a quarter hour. Maybe one of us can get the octopus and one of us can get the steak. That sounds like a good deal. Josh told me that one of his colleagues said he has to get the gazpacho. What's that tomato soup kind of thing? Gazpacho? I have no idea. Some cold tomato soup. I will not be ordering this that. This guy nice. is... I want to get the steak. It is Friday morning, obviously the next day. We just, I didn't really vlog at dinner, obviously, because it was like with Falcon's parents and stuff. But anyways, it was really good. I would totally recommend. It was called Bar Isabel, if I didn't say that. And it was actually all like tapas stuff. So we got to order a ton of different things and then kind of sample and try them all, which was really, really good. So I definitely recommend. I'm going to end off Falcon's birthday vlog here. I feel like it was like really sporadic and kind of all over the place. But I hope you enjoyed. And tonight after work, um, John and Larkin and Lachlan and I are all heading down to Ottawa for my cousin's wedding. So I think we can make that vlog too. So I'm really excited and you guys will see that one coming very soon. So thank you for watching and see you next time.